Hi, my name is Sandy Sabo and I'm an artist entrepreneur in Victoria. Um, I've lived here for the last 10 years doing art mainly out of my home studio. My main mediums are acrylic gouache on canvas or watercolor paper um, and I've recently started to work on deer skin. I've found it really interesting to be an artist in general and what that means to me as an individual. Working jobs throughout the years and having moments to draw or doodle in between and someone noticing and saying, oh, you're an artist as well. And then just having a moment with my own ego and feeling like, oh, I'm, I'm an artist first and I was born an artist and that's like what matters to me and I run a vintage store downtown on Yates Street called Chinosh Vintage. I'm part of a collective called Cheers Vintage Collective. You should come check us out. This is where I do my painting, prepping, videos for the shop, photo shoots, storage, and then, yeah, this is very tame, but um, usually this is full of clothes, bins, stuff that needs to get washed or priced. Just chaos. <laughs> This is one of my favorite pieces ever. It's an old Cure shirt and it's like fully super paper thin. Don't know if I'll sell it yet, probably. Now being in a position where my vintage store has taken over my life and trying to juggle the two passions is a lot of effort. Um, and everything I do has to be with an intention of continuing to build my own character as both of those things and finding a healthy balance of having an attention given to both. Hi, welcome to Cheers Vintage Collective. We're located at 778 Street. Uh, we're a collective of six ladies right now. We all have our own little shop spaces. So we are Star Vintage, Cry Baby, Frank Me Down, That Girl's Rack, Highway Kind, and me. I'm Chinos Vintage. So I chose a Hungarian word to honor my heritage. The word is Chinos. Most people think it's casino, so I might have picked a hard word, but um, the general translation is like beautiful or pretty, but I don't use it in that way. I use it with like when you're getting together with your friends and you're in a mood and they come through the door and you're like, ooh, you look chinos. That's kind of how you'd use it. And my mom always called me Chini Baba when I was little, so it just kind of felt right when I was thinking about a name. Before us, it was a pretty legendary CD music shop. And then before that, it was a bar in the 80s called Scandals. My style mainly is 80s and 90s. I'm a sucker for the 80s. I do love like 60s prints. I love some good lingerie. I feel fortunate enough to be able to carry both my prints and originals in the shop. 10 years ago when I moved here, there was a shop downstairs that was a little vintage shop starting up and they actually let me carry my prints in their shop. That was the first time I ever sold prints here in Victoria, so it's kind of a serendipitous feeling. This is from the Human Nature one most recently, just about intimacy in general and like vulnerability with that. Um, this is a piece I did on a sex worker five years ago. Just to like cleanse myself, I had a kind of difficult year where I was feeling not like myself. I was feeling a little bit meek and that's very not like me. So I just wanted to do something that was like fully expressive. There's not a lot of detail work, which isn't much like my other pieces, but I'm actually really proud of this one. It felt super organic coming out. It happened within like two hours. <laughs> this was like a really fun piece and it gave me a lot of closure and kind of brought me back to like feeling strong within myself.
it's always hard to decide when a painting's done and sometimes I like to extend the life of pieces so I end up making totes or shirts to keep something limited and going but this is the color version of that so this piece I actually did years ago when I was doing a series called Sabad Shag Serelem which means love and freedom in Hungarian this is one of the pieces from the Human Nature series. It's called Light My Fire and my family is all very artistic and um, my uncle passed away like eight years ago and he's kind of been the driving force of me painting as a little girl. He was always really like encouraging uh, for me to do it. Uh, so this is kind of about him. It's called Light My Fire and it's just like not having to take your art so seriously and just like letting it out. So these two pieces are really important in my life and my everyday inspiration. My grandfather painted them in 1955 and 49. They're love letters to my grandma, but they're also just very truthful, talking about how, you know, life is hard and the world is not the best place. Um, but paired with like a really beautiful picture of a flower. Um, and it also has inspired me to incorporate somewhat like illustrative or like tattoo style. I really believe in freedom and having your own way of life. Like I, I really exist in gray areas. And so I don't know, I think everybody should have a voice and that's kind of where that came from. And this is all like heavy bodied acrylic, which is not my usual. So this is my uncle that has been like a huge influence on my life uh, artistically and like intellectually and he was really enthralled by Frank Frazetta who is one of my favorite artists which is kind of this like barbaric powerful Tarzan style art um, that's kind of kind of mythological sometimes so that carries through into my work a lot I find like maybe I'm I've described myself as like a, a little bit of surrealism, but I think maybe it's more like mythological, illustrative and things like that. I really just like pain in pieces. I find like sad songs, sad music, sad art. It doesn't, it doesn't make me sad, it just makes me feel and I think that's really important. That's like how I deal with my own traumas, I just sit in whether it's a song or an art piece or something, I just kind of sit in that and try to figure out why and then I create something from that feeling. I think for myself as an artist, I try to take away from like heavy contents with like colors and like bring different sort of elements or life to it that way. Running a business and painting, like having two passions, it's really hard to fit it all in, so I just try to integrate them as much as I can through little projects. Uh, this one is called Tela Chese, which means full cup in um, English. It's acrylic gouache on deer skin, and it's just really about having five minutes for everybody. I know like life is very full and we're all really rushed and I get such in the vortex of that, so sometimes it's important to like remind myself to slow down and engage with like five minute conversations with people that you don't know because sometimes that's all it really takes to change someone's life and I've had those conversations myself.
it all just comes from something that inspires me. So I try to create that in my home with like things that I'm sentimental about throughout my family. Basically everyone, every female in my family had to learn how to embroider or cross stitch and my one grandmother ended up using it to fund her life, um, selling pieces like all throughout Europe. Um, and my grandfather who was an artist was also like the town cobbler so just like maintaining traditional things I always try to like really keep my heritage alive. <laughs>